Hey guys, it is My Fairy Little Zoo here, and today this video is going to be a, um, like my dog's hygiene routine. Um, this is just going to be like how I bathe them and clean them, that kind of stuff, and that is the answer of a bathing suit, because I'm going to be in the bathtub. So, let's just get the show on the road. So, the first thing you are going to need is a doggly doggly or two. You're going to want a brush. Um, the type depends on the texture of your dog's hair slash fur slash coat. But I'm just going to be using this wire one. Now note if you're using this, um, be gentle because especially if you have really small dogs, because I do, um, use very, very gentle pressure. So now you're going to want to brush out your dog's fur and this is really important because you need to make sure there are no mats or anything like that because water plus mats and knots makes them tighter and harder to brush out. So I mean it doesn't have to be perfect and if you need to, if you find or slash, if you like encounter any harsh knots that you just can't get out, um, you may need to snip it out if you're, you can ask a parent, hey, hey little girl. And so I'm just very gently brushing. Now, it depends on your dog, but my dogs hate being brushed, so they're just like really annoyed with me right now. And so, yeah. I like to try and do it quickly, but be really gentle. And that help because you last thing on earth you want to do. Right from the start, you were a thief, you stole my heart, and I your willing victim. So now that you have two fluffy brush dogs, you're going to want to take their collars off, which I s seriously hope that they are wearing collars, because um, collars are really important, and I mean, it seems like super self-explanatory, like, well, duh, but I mean, I kind of want to do a video about the different types of collars and stuff like that, so if, that, if you guys are interested in that. Um, just comment down below. Um, you just want, don't want the uh, collars to get messed up, especially if you have leather. Um, you don't want that to get messed up. God, Bella just wants to sit in the pillows up there. She's just a little evil little girl. So something that you can use, it's kind of optional, just depends on your dog. Um, are some grooming eye wipes and um, I really like these they're super che uh, super cheap from Petco and they just look like kind of like human wipes and all you do is just take one out and they're moist and you're gonna want to get all her eye boogers out my dogs have like really bad eye boogers and so I really like doing this because it really helps and also, um, we put angel eyes in their food, which is supposedly supposed to be helpful to ha make them have a little bit less of the tear, teary eye problems. But, and she hates this, and I really don't like doing it to her, just because she hates it so much. But it makes her look all prettier and less goopy. Hey. Okay, this is the last step before washing, which is cleaning their ears. So I'm just going to put a towel down, just because this can be a little bit messy. And, you know, don't want my bed to be all gross. So, I like this. It is Epiotic, I believe that's how you say it. And it is ear cleanser, and you can use it for dogs, cats puppies and kittens and it's very gentle and it just just kind of as a safety per precaution just in case anything was forming 
So you're just going to want to flip their ears over. Um, if they have floppy ears, if they have, you know, pointed ears, then you just kind of don't do that, I guess. Take the little nozzle and just pour. You can be generous. And then she's going to try and shake it, but rub at the base to really get the solution in there. And um, don't be chintzy with this. You can be generous. I mean, don't pour, pour the whole bottle in there or anything crazy. But just um, uh, using um, use more over less. tub full of um, lukewarm water not too hot not too cold um, and not filled up too high make it so that your dog can still stand but not but to the point where it's like up to their shoulders about to, to make it just easiest and yeah you are going to want to have some uh, set of shampoo and conditioner. I guess you don't have to use conditioner, but I highly recommend it. Um, if you have a puppy, make sure to use puppy shampoo. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really like this one, they have, this set. They have really nice scents. Um, it's like Viva La Spa. One's flavored kiwi berry, one's flavored powder puff. And I just really like these. You're also wanting to get a um, cup of some sort just so that you can pour water on your doggy. You get it in the water and my dogs just hate baths. They just hate them. Izzy, she's swimming. You can stand. Why are you swimming? Come here. Come here, little girl. And they just hate them. So you take your cup and just gently rinse your dogs all over. Um, get them really nice and wet. And be gentle and be very careful around their eye area as it, that is very sensitive on their face. So I try and be very careful there. Um, yeah, this part is pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's getting in her face, I recommend just kind of trying to sweep it back a little bit. Take your shampoo, you can just pour a little bit in your hand, be generous, make it a little bit bubbly, and then just rub. Lather your dog, be gentle though. Um, be sure to get like the inside of her back legs and her tummy tail, legs, back, well, her feet, her beard, her ears. Now for her head, you have to be very careful. Take a tiny, tiny bit of soap, and then just go at the top of her head, pulling up and back, up and back. So that if any, to just make it really safe and not get in her eyes. Okay, so after this step, you're just going to want to kind of scrub it in. Be gentle though, and use your fingers. And you can give your dog a mini dog massage. Some dogs love baths, but my dogs just hate it. They hate water in general. They don't even like swimming. 
But, okay, so then you're just going to repeat the water step taking your cup and just uh, get all the soap out. You don't have to be so precise with when you're rinsing this time because you are going to be putting more soap in, but just good enough so that it's, she's not like all soapy. Now move on to conditioner and we are just doing basically the exact same. So just really want to go from, so fluff out your towel and um, bundle her up, just kind of pile it around and cuddle her, tell her she's been a good girl. She's still trembling. She hates baths so much. Um, I would recommend bathing every one to two weeks. That's mainly what we do for her. We do about every 10 days. And um, do it during day can daytime if you can, just so that it's a little bit warmer and she'll be running outside and in the sunlight and dry a little bit faster. Now, I don't blow dry my dogs just because I just really, I find that's like nearly cruelty. It's just recording. And so, I just don't like doing that. So I just, she has very curly hair. And so I just kind of brush her until she looks curly. Not, and she's not dripping anymore. So she's still wet, but she's dry enough. So I'm going to go throw this towel on the floor in my bedroom and just let her rampage around my bedroom and fluff up with the towel. These are so hyper when they, um, after they are bathed. And so she's just like digging in my bean bag trying to dry herself. Bissy, look! Look, I got your towel! Bissy! Yeah, I don't get wet! Get wet! Get wet! Okay, after traumatizing my pets, I am changed, and um, here are a few final tips. Um, so, sorry for the noise, they're like really hyper and frisky right now running around the room. Um, number one, before you do this, make sure any doors like to closets or stuff like that, anything like that is closed. Step two, um, if you live in a cold environment, which I don't, I live in a really hot, warm, like 24-7, sunny environment. Um, but if you live in the cold, be really um, diligent with the, with the drying part and don't let them outside until they are completely dry. If it's cold outside, because your dogs can get sick, yes, dogs can get cold. I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy your fluffy, nice-smelling dog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Mwah.